Hi there, hope you're having a good day and welcome back to another video. Today I want to take a look at another older shoe brought back by Under Armour with a new technology after the Curry 4 Floatro. And this right here is the Curry 1 Low Floatro. So these guys retail for 150 US dollars, 10 bucks cheaper than the new Curry 10. Uh, it's weird because on Under Armour's Canadian website, they are the same price. Well, it is what it is. As you can tell from the name Floatro, it features the Flow technology on the classic Curry 1. And it just makes sense that it did it on the low cut version of the shoe instead of the high top. Well, in my opinion, given the running shoe inspirations, you know, fluent and low to the ground core feel that it's designed for, the low top makes perfect sense. Um, this colorway, however, I'm really not a big fan of it, but we'll see if they can drop more and better colorways soon. I think we'll also see the Curry 2 flow troll. Is uh, Under Armour going to do a flow troll of every Curry shoe? Maybe. Anyways, how does the Curry 1 flow troll perform? Let's get right into some details. They come in the same white Curry brand box like other Curry shoes. And on the first look, they kept the Curry 1 low upper silhouette. Under Armour logo on the lateral side, heel clip that says SC30 on it but there is a flow printed on there. As we all know already, that's where the biggest change is. Materials are a molded textile upper. There's a toe box fuse, and it's not really visible on this colorway with the camel patterns, but the surface still has that dotted finish like the OG Curry ones. Mesh tongue, decent padding, it conforms to your ankle nicely, and flipping it over is, again, a typical white flow also. The traction pattern this time follows the Curry 1 traction, with a line through the middle and logo at the bottom. And these are super light, at only 360 grams for size 10 and a half. In case you're wondering, they're even a tiny bit lighter than the Curry 10. So of course, they're gonna be minimal on feet. Huge improvement here from the original Curry one, obviously. Performance-wise, again, cushioning is just what you'd expect out of a Curry shoe with the Flow technology. Simply put, the midsole feels nice and soft on feet. Not much compression at all, but really good comfort level even when you first put them on. You also get a very low to the ground and smooth core feel that transitions fluently. The traction I've had zero issues with so far. Uh, this is on both a clean and dusty core by the way. No slipping and they can make you feel comfortable to either cut, slide, or dive for a loose ball. But again, not a surprise there. With the fit, these fit true to size and going true to size was perfect for me. Average width, not as snug as the Curry 10 let's say, so very happy about that. The forefoot can bend easily, but torsional support is decent, and my feet did feel stable inside most of the time. Maybe the best part is that they are very breathable and minimal on feet. So if you prefer to hoop in a very lightweight shoe, this is one of the best options out there for sure, in my opinion. So I would consider the Curry 1 Low Flow Trail to be an excellent performer overall. Uh, the flow also just doesn't seem to disappoint in terms of both traction and cushioning, and most importantly, the core feel. I think what's even better is that Under Armour seems to have fixed the sizing issue on some previous Curry shoes. And to me, this is just a retro basketball shoe, or in this case, flow troll, done in the right way. Please let me know your thoughts on them down in the comments. I strongly recommend you to give them a try if you're unsure about them. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.